see, I put the, I, I pin a hanky on the bottom to stop it from, because it gets very grubby when it's rubbing on my legs all the time. Okay. Now, Evelyn, you're knitting. That's right. What are you knitting? I'm knitting a cardigan for somebody in America. In America? Yes. And how long will it take to knit this cardigan now? Oh, but if I stayed at it, say, four or five hours a day, I'd have it done in about two weeks, maybe less. And how long are you knitting for? Oh, I'm knitting since I was about six years old. Six years old. My mother was a great knitter. And what did she knit that time? I remember knitting an out, uh, a jumper for my doll when I was that age. <laughs> and it was brown. <laughs> Wool wasn't that plentiful that time. And uh, was knitting very common that time when you were young now? I don't know because um, my mother always knitted. And, and my, my mother's sisters. So I think her, their mother must have knitted. You know, people had to knit anyway. They couldn't afford to buy... Uh, garments. And garments weren't that plentiful in the shops anyway. Yeah. So they knitted the clothes, them, the clothes themselves, yeah? Knitted for, the, for the kids, yeah. They knitted the sweaters anyway. I remember my mother knitted, I had two sisters y younger than me, and she knitted uh, a, little, a jumper suit for the three of us. Mm -hmm. There were three different colours, but they were identical and they had a pleated skirt. And yeah, they were lovely. And I, remember, I think it was at Easter time. And, you know, she, she, she used to knit skirts and jumpers for us when we were small. And is knitting popular nowadays? I think it's more popular now. There's, um, there's a knitting um, kind of community on um, the internet. It's called Ravelry. And it has something like three million members. <laughs> Most of them will be in America, but they're from all over the world. Um, and, and is the knitting more or less the same all over the world? I think it is, yeah. yeah. Designs the same? And yeah, probably. People copy each other, don't they? Yeah. Um, and crochet is another big thing. Now, some people can knit and can't crochet, and some can do both. Um, and where do you get the wool from? Well, I inherited bags of wool from my mother. She, she was a hoarder of wool <laughs> and um, I uh, buy wool, I just actually bought wool, I have bags of it, but, but I still bought a packet of wool this morning in Lidl. <laughs> Lidl? Yeah, six euros for um, six little balls, seven euros I think it was, it's gone up. And when you say a bag of it, what size would a bag be? The bags I have. Mm. The one the mother gave you now. <laughs> They'd be big bin bags. Bin, big bin bags? Bin, bin bags, yes. And is it Irish wool or imported wool or, uh, or do you know? I don't know, some of it would be Irish. Uh, it's all sheep's wool, is it? Uh, there could be some, um, some, um, what you, what's that soft one? Angora. I have Angora, yes. Angora? Some Angora which has gone out of fashion, I think. Mm. Uh, no, but there's another one, Alpaca. Alpaca. Yes, that's, that's a kind of a new thing in Ireland, is it? Expensive. Is it new in Ireland, is it? Uh, it has been around. There's some alpaca in the wool I got from my mother, so that she's dead, fourteen years, thirteen years. So it must have been around at that time. Is there much knitting in Westport? There is. There's a knitting group in Westport, and they meet once a week. In up at the. Uh, at the fair green every Thursday morning. And, and uh, you remember that group, yeah? Well, I'm kind of an absent member. Mm -hmm. And would there be many knitters in that group? Well, there would all be knitters. There are a few beginners. Yeah. Who, what? You know, they're enthusiastic enough to learn. And they're willing to teach? Yes, everybody helps. Uh, Everybody helps everybody, and if somebody has a problem with a pattern, they'll bring it in and uh, someone will sort the problem. Mm. Sometimes patterns are not um, 
very clear, you know, they're not written in a very clear way. What pattern are you on there now? What is that? I'm doing um, this one. Yeah. There are names on them, I assume, are there? Well, this is an Aaron. An Aaron. Yeah. An Aaron design. That's it. Hmm. Okay. Just a card. That'll be nice, yeah. And are there many different types of stitches? Oh, yes. Mm. Yes. Can you name some of, some uh, of them to me? Name some of the stitches. Well, the basic one is, is knit and pearl. Mm -hmm. And you do all kinds of things with them. Mm. That's it. I used to hear the expression, one play and one pearl. Yeah. Are there other expressions? Well, expressions like uh, to describe... For instance, you call the bottom, the bottom part of the, the sweater, the rib. The rib, yeah. Yeah, so it's one plain, one pearl. Um, or you can do two plain, two pearl. There's thousands, probably millions, of different ways you can knit. Combinations, is it? Yeah. The thing I love knitting the most is um, very fine shawls. Um, with with what they call um, lace, lace, lace wool. It's not always wool. It can be silk or it can be a mixture of silk and wool. But it's very it's very interesting to knit. And I always feel when I've finished um, a shawl, you know, I always feel that uh, you know that feeling you get when you come to the when you come out of the cinema and it's over. And uh, you just just feel I'm going to miss that. When it's finished. When it's finished. And then I want to start another one. 